to be a swimwear haul. I haven't done a swimwear haul. Actually, I don't think I've ever done a swimwear haul before. I've done a uh, Savage X Fenty lingerie try on haul, which I really want to do that again because I filmed that a long time ago. I haven't filmed a clothing haul in a very, very, very long time. And I really wanted to film one today for you guys because summer is here it is my favorite time of year and also there's a lot of countries that are opening up their borders so we are allowed to travel which is so amazing exciting news and i spent i think about three four hundred pounds on all of these cute swimwears for you guys to see and i can't wait to just share this haul with you all but before i begin i just want to let you all know that today's video is sponsored by sky so in case you guys didn't know, I am working with Sky this year, which is such a dream come true because I love Sky. I've been using Sky for many, many years and the fact that I'm sitting here and I have this amazing opportunity to collaborate with Sky to review their movies. It is a dream that I never dreamed of because I didn't think it would come true. So every week for a whole entire year, Sky is launching a brand new movie. And this week, the movie I watched is called Last Seen Alive. And this movie has Jared Butler in it. And guys, I haven't seen Jared Butler in a movie in a long time. I think the last movie I have seen him in was The Ugly Truth, which is a rom-com movie. So to see him in a movie like this, Last Seen Alive, it was such a big transition. And I definitely personally prefer seeing Jared Butler play more of an action type of movie. I don't know, he's got the look for it. He's got the, the voice for it. He's got the energy for it. He's got the vibe. Like he just looks like a bad boy and I feel like he suits playing those types of action-packed movies. So, Last Scene Alive, incredible movie. Honestly, it got me so frustrated in many scenes. It got me emotional as well. So, Last Scene Alive is about Jared Butler. There's a character called Will and his wife goes missing. She basically goes missing at a gas station, which is probably one of the most scariest places for a person to go missing. I mean, the horror stories I've heard, like real life horror stories I've heard of, you know, someone goes to the gas station at a certain time and next thing you know, they're gone. Like, it was very gripping, very emotional. And I feel like when a movie makes you feel like that is a good movie. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, if I ever, ever vanish, or if I ever go missing, I'll be in the Bahamas. <laughs> so yeah, the movie, Last Scene Alive, I don't wanna spoil it for you guys because I just don't wanna be that person. There's so much mystery in this movie. It was dark and Will, you know, you follow his journey trying to find his wife and it just gets so, frustrating yeah i i love jared butler as an actor he has done amazing movies in the past if you guys are interested in checking out last scene the light it is only available on sky and i'll leave a link in the description box for you guys as well so make sure you check it out and also check out the trailer okay let's begin the haul hi guys future ling hair i know it was very odd for me to add this clip in but i have a really important reason why i am adding this random clip in this haul. I realized as I was editing this YouTube video that I didn't share any information on how to be sustainable and how I like to be sustainable as well. So I thought I would share a couple of things with you guys on how I like to be sustainable. So two things that I love to do is I love to go to Camden Market. Camden Market is amazing. If you are in London or you're going into London one day, you have to go check out Camden Market. There are so many thrift stores there. It's like a dream for people who love thrifting. So I love going there to get some vintage stuff such as vintage jeans, vintage bags, vintage hats, secondhand clothing, secondhand jackets, the jackets, oh my God. It is a dream to shop in Camden Market when it comes to buying secondhand goods. Another thing that I like to do as well is I work with a brand called Relight. I have been working with Relight for many years. They were originally called eBloggers. Now, if you guys remembered, I think it was like two years ago, I uploaded a decluttered uh, video of all of my makeup products. I gave away a lot of my makeup and skincare products and now they do clothing to e-bloggers, which is now called Relights, they rebranded, and they basically help me sell my stuff 
to everyone who is looking for some affordable clothing, affordable beauty products without breaking the bank. If you guys love my style, then definitely check out Relight. If you guys want to buy some of my clothing, and if you are ever in London, definitely check out Camden Market as well. So yeah, hopefully this portion of the video was educational and somewhat helpful as well. And definitely spread awareness on Relight and Camden Market, guys. Because I feel like that information is really important and more people should know about it. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah. This is gonna last me for a good couple of years. Yeah, I literally have my swimwear wardrobe ready for summer, which is so exciting. So I don't have to worry about buying more new clothes or panicking on getting new clothes. I've got all my swimwear and cover-ups right here, which is so exciting. So the first item I wanna show you guys. Now, because it's swimwear, it doesn't look good when I hold it up, but when you see it on the body, of course it's gonna look way better. So it's one of the things where you gotta trust the process. So I got this really lovely bikini. Uh, all of the swimwear that I, uh, I'm i showing you guys is from Pretty Little Thing. I just love the colour. I love the green. The green? <laughs> I'm so colourblind. <laughs> I love the red, white and the blue as well. And it comes with a pretty bikini triangle type of shape top. Oh, it's the wrong way around. The material is super soft as well. And it's quite thick in terms of like it's not going to be see-through. So when it does get wet, it's not going to show, you know, your nips or anything. And also I got a matching skirt as well. I love Pretty Little Thing cover-ups. I feel like they do the best cover-ups for the beach, for swimwear, for everything. Because it's really lightweight. And I just love the slip as well. It's so, so pretty as well. Like I said, it looks way better when it's on the body as well and it's really nice and light as well it doesn't feel heavy and i just love how snatched the pretty little thing maxi skirts makes me look as well so yeah this is a win-win okay so for anybody who loves like the 70s i don't know i feel like this pattern reminds me of the 70s isn't it so cute it's giving me zebra and i feel like when i think of black and white monochromatic type of colors um, I just think of like the 70s and yeah, zebra print is very big in fashion right now. I've seen it all over Coachella, which by the way, hopefully I can go Coachella one day soon. And this is the bikini top as well. I also got a one piece. I wanted to get a few one pieces because not every day you want to wear a bikini. Um, this year I plan on doing loads of traveling and the thing is wearing a bikini is great but there's some things that you do on holiday that is not bikini friendly. For instance if you're like surfing, um, I don't know, zip lining, all of that stuff, like zip lining in the water. You want to wear something that is secure. <laughs> because let me tell you something, one time I wore a bikini top and I went surfing. Never again. I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, this is a beautiful one piece as well. It's giving me 70 vibes. I love it so much and I love how it covers the shoulder as well. So this is definitely something that I want to wear when I go to water parks. My shoulders get burnt so badly and it oh it's just something that i hate experiencing like i love the sun and i love summer but there are consequences like you have to wear your spf and also you have to cover up as well so this is really lovely and i love how there's a zip at the front as well so if you want to show a little cleavage yes you can <laughs> okay if you love the color pink you have to get this bikini look how cute it is it's such a nice hot pink color as well and i love the detailing as well it's like a um, it's like a flower it's not adjustable this bikini bottom so make sure you get the right size. Um, I think I should have gotten a size six in this. I'm usually a size eight. And the bikini top, I should have gotten a size 10. Now, I don't have big boobs. I'm actually quite small boobed, but I didn't realize how small a size eight bikini top is because this is an underwire bikini, but there's no, there's not much wiggle room for the actual boobs this is a really good bikini top for girls who are very very small boobed nipples kind of almost hang down a bit, a little bit but i kind of made it work somehow this is the type of bikini that i would wear just to sunbathe it like i wouldn't go in the water with it or anything because of security reasons but it is a lovely fashionable instagrammable bikini okay i've got loads of green swimwear pieces 
and cover up is because I feel like green it's the vibe this summer. I mean, I feel like green, you just can't go wrong with that color. I feel like that color suits everyone, no matter how pale you are either. And obviously dark skin as well, like green, it just makes you pop. Like it, it I don't know, it just does something for your skin tone where it makes you pop. So I got this maxi dress. Well, you have to wear a bikini underneath it. It looks weird when I hold it up. Like it honestly looks like a piece of string. But when it's on the body, it's a different story. And I love how long it is as well. And I love the gold detailing as well. It adds a little bit of a bougie to the dress. And yeah, when I saw this on the model, I was like, I need to try this dress on. It looks really weird, but I wanna try it on. Like, I just wanna see how it looks. And I do like it. It's something that I would wear to the beach, but definitely you have to wear a bikini underneath it as well. This dress is so cute. So I bought a cover up um, dress, like a mini dress. Just something easy to throw on, you know, after you go swimming, you just wanna cover up. This is like the perfect type of material. It's like a mesh material. It is see-through, so don't wear this, you know, without anything underneath it. But I just love the detailing and I love how it's got gaps and it goes down to the side. It's so pretty, love it. I got another one piece and this color is so beautiful. Okay, like I said, it looks better when it's on the body. So this is a bit of a boobyish type of swimsuit. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. I have more of a boob than a bum. So quite naturally, you're gonna show off something that is better, you know? I just love how flattering this is. It snatches around the waist and it's like high legged as well. So it shows a lot of your hips and it's so comfortable as well. Perfect one piece. Okay, so the next one I wanna show you guys is another green bikini, but this is more of a mint green. So cute. This is probably my favorite swimwear bottoms that I have seen so far in my Pretty Little Thing swimwear haul because these types of briefs, they just sit so comfortably on the stomach. Like everyone's got a little bit of a muffin top and this, it, it, it covers it really, really well. And also it's super high legged as well. I think that's what it's called, high legged, when you see a lot of your like thighs and hips love it and um this bikini i deliberately bought this literally for sunbathing like i don't plan to go swimming in it or anything if you are gonna sunbathe you need to wear a bikini that is strapless because you don't want like too much lines up here or anything yeah definitely get a strapless bikini if you plan on sunbathing loads this year and also i've got a cute matching skirt as well to cover up in i love this color so much it's very fresh and also when you get a tan oh yeah the green is popping i got another one piece as well this is very sexy but it's not you know in your face you know what i mean i don't know let me show you guys so this is a black swimsuit it's a crossbody as well it's like a one piece with two pieces <laughs> i don't know i'm trying to explain this properly but um yeah yeah <laughs> Very flattering on the body, very comfortable to wear as well, very sexy, and I feel like you could easily wear this as a top if you just put on some really nice flattering like maxi skirts or like a really nice pair of trousers. This with a big chunky gold necklace, a really nice big straw hat as well, stunning. Okay, the last bikini, this deserves to be in some sort of Vegas Ibiza type of party vibe like this bikini oh my god it's so cute i just love the color and i love the pattern as well so this is another green bikini i know guys green is my thing this year and i love how it's got like patterns on it as well so it's like green and white and then this is the bikini bottom i know you guys are thinking this is very standard length but no the matching cover-up is insane so this is the matching dress it's so pretty oh my god i just feel like this is such an ibiza party girl type of pool party vibe like this is if you see someone wear this you just know you just know they're the cool people and that's why i wanted to buy it even though i'm not cool i love the color and i love this dress as well i love how it's got this massive scoop at the front and it shows the belly it's very 
very flattering on the body it's very sexy and I don't know, I just feel like you want to wear swimwear that makes you feel comfortable and the styles that I have showed you guys, it's styles that makes me feel comfortable in my own body and that is what you want to be this summer. I cannot wait for my exams to be done so I can go and just live my life. I am literally so desperate to go on a holiday and not think about anything but just be happy and just travel. I plan on doing loads of videos this summer. I would love to know which swimwear piece do you guys like. Let me know if you want to see another one of these videos from another brand. I am loving White Fox Boutique recently. They are quite an expensive brand, but I'm more than happy to invest and review their clothing and show you guys what clothing I like and why I like it and the sizing as well because I feel like sizing is so different from all of the brands. Let me know what clothing brands you guys want me to review next. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!